Wombles are not humans. Joanna, They're creatures. Joanna, representation absolutely matters, and it's really important for children. But Wombles are not human characters, mm. are they? And they were created in, you know, by Elizabeth, Marcus's mum, in a certain way. She didn't want them to get involved in the world of politics, religion, all the rest of it. Why do you think it's important that they are changed? Well, I think that um, the way that they originally were um, isn't necessar necessarily um, racist. I don't think that, you know, there's been a big campaign to say the Wombles have to be diversified. I think that um, we're so now why, so in a completely different um, generation. Nobody's actually saying do it. Why do it? Well, I think that it's a decision that somebody else has made that is not the creator, and I think that it's something that's just letting the characters actually evolve into this new generation. And I think it is actually very kind of um, culturally, uh, culturally and society, uh, in society a lot more uh, relevant but to the Britain that humans, we live in right now. But they're not humans, are they? They're, yeah, but they're they do human things. So they, they do things like, you know, recycle. And, you know, when children watch um, shows like this, whether they're watching a cartoon or anything like that, the actions that those um, characters are taking are relevant to these children, but so it doesn't matter. You don't agree, though, do you? What, what, what Joanna just said in regards to the actions that they're taking is really important, but it doesn't matter what colour they are that shows, actually, I'm going to make that decision to recycle or not right. recycle. It's about, actually, someone's created, within their mind, a fictional character that does great things for the environment, and it's about learning about the things that they do, not what they look like mm. or who they are. So I think that's really important, and there's so many other ways to demonstrate diversity and inclusion. It just why seems, would, so, why it would seems, so, it? It seems so patronising to me. I'm not a black person, but if I was, I would think, oh, really? You're, you're going to darken the skin tone of Wombles to try and make some diversity point. To me, it just... It, it, it's a grating point. It's unnecessary. Nobody was calling for it. And it kind of makes a mockery to me of what is a really important battle, which is the battle for genuine diversity in all aspects of life. Yeah, and, and definitely, I don't speak on the whole, obviously, black community, but in my own opinion, it's... It's something that allows that creativity, that imagination of young people, and there's so many other ways to educate people. For example, the Teletubbies, they have the different diversity, different colours, but within their tummies, they show you the different things, yeah. inclusion and diversity within the world, and there's yeah. other ways to do that. Uh, sorry, Joanna, okay. carry on. Um, I think, for me, um, we're in a completely different um, generation. When these were, um, were made originally in the 70s, um, we've said that they were progressive in terms of, you know, the environmental things, and um, they, were, they were kind of pushing the boat when it comes to that. But with now, I think um, what really would be progressive would be actually adding on about the diversity, about, you know, veganism, if somebody's an environmental vegan. I think that it's yeah, a lot more relevant things, now. But they're all things... They, you, know, they, you can have a vegan one, but it yeah. makes a difference. Maybe one of the... Yeah. They, they, are, they are all vegetarians. They're all vegetarians. They're all vegetarians, they're all, right, they're all they're vegetarians, all vegetarians exactly. anyway. So, so um, you know, we're already you know, there. They were yeah. ahead of you. I think what's important with this is that the characters as well um, seem to have evolved. So um, I think they've got uh, their own social media um, platform now, you know, um, on Instagram uh, and Twitter, and they have things like, you know, Be Kind campaign. I think that the actual remit of what the Wombles trying to teach children now is a lot different but Joanna, than what have it you, was have in you the heard 70s. a single person in the entire world yeah. other than the makers of this new remake, actually say, you know what we really need are, is some more diverse Wombles. I mean, have you ever heard anyone say that? But have you ever I, heard I a actually, black person ever I in honestly, the world say, I, I really think, want to see a black Womble? I honestly I mean, seriously. think the people who have a problem with this are the ones that are making this a much bigger deal. So I think that it's something that somebody sat, maybe sat around a, um, a brainstorming table and said, you know what, we're going to evolve these characters. We're going Marcus's, to talk about... Marcus's mother created the Wombles. And, yes, and I, still under, I understand that. And his that. sister is still writing them. I think that they're probably entitled to have a view yeah, no, about definitely. what happens one, to the One thing that I will say is that in terms of this whole um, argument with Marcus's point I completely respect that and I can you know understand it because I can see it from like a sentimental mm -hmm. point of view but if I sit here and have this conversation about diversity in a objective way and say is it okay for them to be different shapes right, of you know what yeah it is we had a guy uh, called Akia come on who was the head boy of the school where Meghan Markle made her mm. speech and he went up and made the joke about her looking beautiful and so on and in 10 minutes that boy mm. for me mm. did more for diversity and inclusion and race issues and anything than anything we've had on this programme probably in five years. Blacking up a womble 
has the complete opposite effect to what the people doing it think it has. Brandon, it doesn't do actually think? help anything. I just, I never thought the Wombles were white in the first place, so I'm not quite sure what no, the diversity... Not, as in, yeah. they're sort of... Uh, they're orange. orange. They're different. Well, they're, they're, not, well, they're all orange. Do you know what I mean? They're all orange. I just don't, they're not shit. human characters. Right. I know you're saying Just going back to that point that yeah. you mentioned, Kiss, about Akia, yeah. he is... He was an amazing interview. I saw it myself, I reposted mm. it. Mm. But in regards to him, there are thousands of other young boys just like him. Yes. It's about what you perceive and what you put out but there. But my so... point being that he, he is a role model and inspiration in that one interview he did with us in that moment with Meghan Markle. Mm -hmm. To me, he's such an empowering young man mm. to other young black men and, mm -hmm. uh, and, and young girls. But he's relatable, he's a human. Yes. And this is <laughs> yes. fictional Exactly character. my point. Yeah. So why okay. are you even putting fictional characters with yes. diversity and mm. realistic hu humans yeah. and how they can learn? So for me, it's about how can we keep it the same it's about what they do, not what they look yes. like. And but it's not hurting anybody, is it? Well, it's, it's well, hurt, well, it is hurting. Actually, it's in, in the way it is, yeah. It is. In, in the way it is. Right. Joanna, Eartha, Marcus, yeah. lovely to see you. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, thank you all very much. Well, give us your views on whether the Wombles should be more diverse. Well, we have a statement from the new owners of the Wombles who said, we believe that everyone can make a positive difference to their local environment. We can all be Wombles by recycling, reusing, rethinking the way that we live. So be kind to people and the planet. Love from the Wombles. But interestingly, nothing in there about blacking up the Wombles, and actually everything in there was what the Wombles were originally about. Mm. As Marcus said, his mother, when she wrote them, made the Wombles all those things. They were quite woke and ahead of their time. But nothing in that statement refers to skin colour nope. or skin tone or tone of the Wombles. Nope. So there you have it. Even in their statement, they don't defend what they've done. Because okay. actually, it's irrelevant to what the Wombles stand for. Remember you're a Womble. I remember I'm a Womble. Competition time. Here's Andy with the details. Love the Wombles.